YouTube and Pride of Stuff fans. It's Sunday afternoon here in California. The weather outside is absolutely horrendous. It's blowing a gale. It's very windy. So I'm sat here by my cozy fireside to give you a little bit of a, a chat and an update about my inkbox two week temporary tattoo that I actually did 11 days ago today. Um, so I did my video um, explaining how to put the tattoo on, etc. So I just want to give you a bit of a follow up just to see um, how it's wearing and what I think of it. So as I said, it's been 11 days now. Uh, here it is. Hopefully the camera is picking this up. Um, this is the Inkbox two week temporary tattoo. This is the London skyline. Now when I did this, if you haven't seen um, my application video, um, have a look at my mistakes because I made quite a few. The only bit of this tattoo that is that that isn't quite perfect, which is purely down to my stupidity um, on application, is this little bit here, which I pointed out in my first video of the London Eye, where it doesn't quite join up to Big Ben. And also, there's a little bit of bleeding ever so slightly here on uh, Tower Bridge or London Bridge. Right? So apart from that, the tattoo itself is actually, it's wearing really, really well. The, the colour is still really, really vibrant. I really, really like it. I can't stop looking at it. Um, nobody's questioned me on it yet, which has surprised me. I, as I said in my video, I wanted this done for, for New Year's Eve. It was actually freezing, flipping freezing here on New Year's Eve. So I ended up wearing a long sleeve top so nobody really got to see it. Um, but yeah, it's there. I love it. It does make me want to get something done on a more permanent basis for my arm. Still looking at design, still I'm in an hour in about whether to actually go for it. But you know, as a temporary tattoo, I really, really love this. And I like the fact that it's there. For, for quite a while, you know, I'm pretty sure that that is going to last another 10 days. You know, it's going to go way, way beyond the, the two weeks. Now, I haven't really scrubbed this arm or, like, I've tried to be really careful when I've had a shower over this bit, and even with the towel when I'm drying myself off. And I haven't actually moisturised this bit of my arm since I did it. So I'm really trying to, to, to keep it keep the ink as protected as, as possible um, to, to make it last. So we'll just see how it goes. But, you know, big thumbs up from me um, to Inkbox. It's a great way to play around with ink if you're not sure on getting a tattoo. I really, really like those silver and gold and the black um, tattoos by Anushka Woods in the UK. I don't know whether they're the same here in the, in the US. I think it was LL... LDK maybe here in the US because um, I had some of those before. Those I really really love in the summer because when your skin has a bit of sun tan, the gold and the silver looks really really nice. But I'm loving the black ink. So as I said, yeah, I really love it. Um, yeah, it'd be good to hear your comments on this in a comments section underneath. Um, whether you've actually tried any of these or your experience of having a real tattoo, you know, as I said, everybody says to me, yes, it hurts. Some people have said, no, it doesn't hurt. It depends on where it is though. But you know, any experience of, of real tattoos, I'd love to hear. And any comments on, on Inkbox or your experience with Inkbox as well would be great. So I guess I'll see you soon with something else. There may be some more sneakers on the way. Anyway, uh, enough of me. Enjoy the rest of your day, YouTube. See you soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us on our social channels Instagram, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. See you soon. Bye.